Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another very exciting episode of It's a Seb Show. And today I want to talk about the principle of substitution. That's right. The economic principle of substitution says the maximum price for a particular product is set by the pricing of other similarly desirable properties somewhere else, right? Okay, so let's just say you want to sell your house and you want to sell it for a million dollars, right? So your house is a three bedroom and two bathroom house uh, and you want to get a million bucks for it. But right down the street, there's another three bedroom, two bathroom house that they're asking only $900,000 for. Now, not only is that other house three bedrooms and two bathrooms, but actually it was built by the same developer. It's in the same subdivision, built at the same time. Actually, it's a model match for your house. It's the exact same house as you have. And they're asking 900 grand for that one. Are you going to be able to get a million dollars for your house? Well, you know, real estate is not a commodity. It's not like bricks or 12 gauge copper wire or something like that, right? Your house is unique and individual. And so is that one, right? So your house, uh, has been well kept up over the 30 years. Actually, it's it feels like a brand new house when you walk inside. Like the kitchen's been redone, the bathrooms have been redone, right? Like it feels like fresh and new inside. Whereas the other house is 30 years old, just like your house, but they haven't done a lick of work to it, right? It feels like something right out of 1992, right? Not only that, your house is actually a little higher up on the hill than the other house is. And you actually have something of a view, right? You can see like some trees and mountains in the background, right? Maybe a valley and city lights twinkling away at night, right? Whereas they have no kind of view at all. And so you're saying, hey, I can get a million dollars for my house because it's so much better than the other house right down the street. So is that true? Can you actually get a million dollars for your house? It's a model match to this other house. The answer is maybe you can, maybe you can. But here is the thing. The principle of substitution says that buyers will not pay a million dollars for your house if they can get something of greater value for that same one million dollars. And so people fall into a trap and they say, listen, um, I know the buyer is going to want to buy in my neighborhood. Right. And they're going to want to get that view. Right. And they're going to want to pay for those upgrades. Well, maybe they do and maybe they don't. But the thing is, is that the buyers are not just looking in your neighborhood and they're not looking necessarily for a view that is just like your view and they're not looking for the same updates that you have done to your house right maybe they want different sets of updates or maybe they don't want updates at all buyers are looking for an entire package of value not just these specific features right when buyers have a million dollars to spend they're going to be looking in a wide geographic area usually they're going to say hey listen it has to be within 45 minutes of my office or 10 minutes of the kid's school or within 15 minutes of the beach or, you know, close to this freeway or something like that, right? They're going to be looking in a broad area and in that area, they're going to see what kind of value they can get for that million dollars overall. So when you are looking to price your house, you have to really understand what other value the buyer might be able to get for that same million dollars you want to get for your house and don't necessarily just look for that one you know similar point of comparison down the street because that may not be a very accurate representation of what buyers could substitute for your house for that same one million dollars so that's a very important point a lot of people get hung up on you know just comparing their house to one or two or three other properties which are you know competing with your house you really have to understand that buyers have a much broader selection of choices than maybe you think they do and that is in large part driven by that principle of substitution, like what else can I get for that million dollars somewhere else? Very important point. All right, well, that's it for this episode of It's a Seb Show. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. And if you have, by any chance, if you have enjoyed watching this episode of It's a Seb Show, do me a favor, would you give me a comment and let me know your thoughts? I would really appreciate that. And hey, it would be awesome if you gave me a, a like, man, that would be groovy as well. And the highest compliment, of course, would be if you would share this content with somebody that you know who is kind of going through that same kind of, you know, quandary, like how much should I ask for my house, right? All right, that's it for this episode of It's a Seb Show, but don't worry. Hey, it's okay. I'll have another episode up again before too long.